A lot of movement back there in the back, two and three wide. Pretty even. Oh, look at that. Guys getting checked up. Big, big contact back there. J.J. Ailey's around the 10, the two hard into the wall. Oh, good. Kyle Bush involved big damage on the 18 as well. This is the concern about pinning and losing track position is the chaos on the starts. Huge damage to the two of Cendric. That was a big hit. Massive hit. Oh. Austin Cendric drops the window hit right. in frustration. Big damage to the 18 car. High hopes that he's on that, you know, career longest streak, not finishing inside the yeah, top 10. And... Uh, it looks like the left front tie rod's broken. Yeah, that's Kyle Busch's radio guys. They're just trying to assess the damage here. Ben Bayshore, boy, you can see how upset he is, Steve. They knew they had a car that could win this race today and looks like it's gonna be over with early. He's got a toe link on the left front and the right rear broke on that car that they'll need to repair. Just take a look, it's that white car right in the center. He's, he, there he is, just in the middle of three wide. McDowell's going to check up and then see what happens from here. Looks like he gets a little bit loose. He's trying to save it. More and more contact. But the 10 spins up in front. He I'm going to have to watch it again to see how the 10 spun around. Was it contact from the 15, Junior? I, I believe a little contact with, the, uh, with another car, not the 15. But move back here to the, the contact. Actually, yeah, there you yeah, go. Right. 10, 15 there. gets him right there. Getting overcorrected into the wall head on by the two. That's your that's your worst nightmare, I think, in a race car. It's being turned head on into the wall like that at such a high speed. Even though they're on a restart here, not full speed. These are still tremendous hits for these guys. Look at Ty Gibbs. Oh, that's Saber Mario move. That's Saber Mario. Big move. See how effective that is.